Hi. Hopefully you're considering higher chemistry because you enjoy chemistry and you're good at it. But there's a good chance you're considering studying the subject because you require it in order to study a particular course at university. Some examples include nursing, medicine, dentistry, vet science, chemical engineering, pharmacy, optometry and certain science courses. If you're still not sure about a career, speak to the adults you know and ask them about what they do. If you're really lost, look at a university prospectus or go online to look at university courses. You can then work out from this which subjects you need to study. You'll probably have an idea where your strengths lie. When picking a subject, play to your strengths. Hopefully these are also the subjects you enjoy. If you want to be a vet, doctor, dentist, pharmacist, chemical engineer, you really need to choose chemistry probably all the way to S6. The higher chemistry course, like NAP5, has four units. Three are theory-based units and one is skill-based. They've got the same unit titles as National 5. Chemical changes in structure, where we study bonding in the elements of the periodic table. Periodicity, which studies the patterns of properties of these elements. Bonding in compounds in more detail. And redox reactions. Our next unit is called Chemistry and Society, and it looks at the chemical industry which is vitally important to the UK economy. Calculations, collision theory, bond enthalpy, and other energy changes along with equilibrium. Nature's chemistry is our last course and studies carbon chemistry. There are many families which contain carbon. We'll look at alcohols, acids, esters, ketones, aldehydes, fats, oils, soaps, proteins, skincare products, and the chemistry of cooking. There's usually an assignment. This is a chance to do some research, then an experiment, and bring it together as a project. This is a really fun part of the course, which contributes towards your final exam mark. Chemistry makes massive contributions to our way of life. Without it, we wouldn't have medicines such as antibiotics and painkillers, fertilisers to help food production, polymers, batteries, and next generation materials such as graphene. Studying chemistry opens up so many pathways. A degree in pure chemistry is a highly sought after qualification because you need to show you've got good communication skills and that you can work as part of a team to problem solve. People with chemistry degrees aren't restricted to a lab. You can use a degree to work in finance, journalism and law to name but a few careers. If you want to make a difference in the world, a career in chemistry is a really good starting point. The link in the last slide is created by the Royal Society of Chemistry and it outlines many job profiles that are related to chemistry courses. There's videos for most of them. It really is a very good website and it's well worth a look. But if you really need to chat, go and speak to your chemistry teacher and ask for any guidance. Hi everybody, I'm David McMillan. I'm the 2021 winner of the Chemistry Nobel Prize. I'm here in New York right now where it's absolutely freezing and I just wanted to pass on a piece of advice which is make sure you choose chemistry. All the best, see you soon.